So in this screencast, we are going to make a Java-based JavaFX application, which means that we're not going to utilize the FXML way of constructing our scene graph. But nonetheless, we're going to use the JavaFX application template and then just um, do the necessary changes to it to transform it into a Java-based JavaFX application. So we're going to call this simple JavaFX application. And then we're going to start this up. So, to begin with, there are a couple of things that we're not going to use. So, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and set up my project correctly. So, recall that we need to add a reference to the JavaFX library. And we also need to modify the uh, runtime um, configuration. So, we're going to go ahead and find the library here. And navigate all the way to the lib folder. And we're going to go ahead and edit the run configuration and add some VM options here. And I'm just going to copy paste the VM options. So if you need info on how to make this, be sure to check out the uh, tutorial on the JavaFX FXML based application. So with that out of the way, there are a few things that we're not going to need in our uh, simple JavaFX application. We're not going to use the FXML document. And we are also not going to use the controller. What we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and construct our scene graph here in pure Java. And for this scene graph here, we are going to go with a very simple scene graph constituting a single label and a single button. And we're going to add that to layout and add that layout to uh, a scene. So let's start out by creating the label. So we're going to create a label. And we're just going to call that LBL text. So here we need to specify, or one option is to specify in the constructor what the label should carry, what kind of text it should contain. So here we're just going to call this test label, just for demonstration purpose. With that out of the way, we can go ahead and create our bot. And as with the label here, we have the option to add some text to the button, and we're going to add the text click me. Now, we would like something to happen when we click on the button. And in order for that to happen, we need to have an event handler. There are different approaches to using or adding event handlers to a button. And the one that we're going to use here does not make use of anything we haven't learned so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class and we're going to call this button click event handler. Now we're going to let this class implement an interface called event handler, which is part of the JavaFX framework. And we're going to have it event handle on action event, which is the event that you'll see arise when you click a button, for instance. So in here, we are going to have this uh, class here or write the handle method. And just for st demonstration purpose, we're just going to have a very simple event handler statement here, where we are going to write out, you clicked the button in the console. So, with our event handler implemented, we can go ahead and att attach this event handler to our button. So we'll type in the name of our button here, call the setOnAction method, and pass a new instance of the button click event handler. Now we need to have a layout, and the layout that I'm going to use here is the VBox layout. And we're going to call that root because this is going to constitute the root in our scene graph. We of course need to import the VBox class. And we're going to create a new VBox object. I'm going to show you here how you can add stuff to your layout once you've created it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to call the getChildren method on our uh, VBox object. And we're going to call addAll on the 
object returned by the get children, which is basically a list. We're going to call the add all uh, method in order to add our controls. And the controls that we would like to add is the LBL text and the BTN click. Now, the last thing we, that we need to do is we need to ensure that the root of our scene graph is passed to a scene. But as we can see down here, we used the uh, variable name that was here to begin with, which means that the new scene object created down here is going to get past the reference to our root object up here. And this means that we should be good to go. So let's try and run our application and see what we get. As you can see, we now have a functioning JavaFX application. And if we click the button here, what we can see is that indeed the event handler is working as intended. It is putting out the output that we would expect or printing out the output that we would expect. And this is it for this screencast.